I'm Jordan Fowler, and I'm from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, throughout my life, my interests and passions have wandered, but making art has always been consistent. Uh, it wasn't really until I was in college that sculpture became my primary focus. Um, before Clemson, I was working as the sculpture studio manager at College of Charleston. Uh, I jumped into that position after graduating and also worked as the preparator at the Halsey Institute of Contemporary Art. Uh, I look back at that time as an invaluable incubation period for my work. In college, I realized that the wide discipline of sculpture channeled a lot of my interests. Um, during my stay at the Halsey, I was lucky enough to work alongside some big name artists. Uh, and at the same time, I started pursuing projects uh, and commissions with uh, the guidance of friends and mentors. Uh, and that's what really gave me the confidence to decide that this is what I want to do. Personally, sculpture gives me an advantage over other mediums. Uh, sculpture is a huge word and encompasses a huge range of mediums and disciplines. Um, and I do well with that flexibility. And I think a lot of the skills I developed growing up uh, lend themselves to sculptural practices. My inspirations have fluctuated throughout the years, uh, but I would say the most consistent source as of lately are artists that redefine our relationship with digital things. Um, I'm thinking of people like Rafiq Anadol and Trevor Paglin. Um, so really work that tears down our normal perception of digital things and changes the way we position ourselves uh, within and amongst them. My work, and especially the work in New Ruins, is about instilling in the viewer a different perspective of digital systems, objects, and spaces. Uh, this exhibit channels that idea through ruins presented as artifactual objects. Contextually, the exhibit is designed to read as an examination of artifacts from a different time. New Ruins is very much about the residual forms of systems. Uh, I've been heavily formed by the baggage that materials carry, and I like to imagine ways that they can self-organize. This is one of the reasons I'm so drawn to ruins in the first place. I use the existing context of objects and collide them with situations that stimulate new forms. Uh, New Ruins in particular incorporates digital forms into this process. The generative ruin pieces are especially interesting in regard to where my creative process comes from because they are created from algorithms I wrote. Um, the system I've designed takes a greater role in the creative process. My interest in both ruins and emerging digital technologies casts a wide range for material use. Um, on one end of the spectrum, I mimic ancient forms with blends of concretes and stains. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum, I'm using projection maps to cast uh, light and 3D printing plastic that looks like copper. Um, the variety of materials in between have specific roles in conveying form and content. Uh, I use styrofoam and computer parts, vines and roots. Uh, all these materials have specific connections to the environment and our society, uh, and have forms that can communicate their condition in the context of a ruin. My work tends to be monochromatic. Um, the works I call re-encodings have a gray and dreary surface. Uh, in a way, it conveys age and abandonment, but also shows an interesting contrast to the colorful animation of projection mapped light. Uh, in digital forms, ruined content is often seen as a breakdown of color information, uh, producing wild hues of color. Uh, so both the physical and digital content um, utilize color that describes ruin. Uh, they just happen to contrast. Uh, the Generative Ruin series is printed in a copper plastic. I use copper for its relationship to copper and computing, um, but also as a foil to critique the utopian grandeur of romanticized depictions of ruins. When I started um, incorporating digital ruins into my work, I started creating charts to try to compare and contrast a digital ruin um, with a physical ruin, and my work evolved into these hybrid forms that weave together conditions of the two ruins. Um, and I started referring to those as new ruins, uh, and the name felt relevant as my work continued to unfold. All of the materials have a story that extends into the future. Um, concrete is tethered to the human footprint and atmospheric carbon. Um, styrofoam is guaranteed to persist for centuries. Digital systems are increasingly holding a greater amount of power in the form of decision making and automation. Um, I think our perception, engagement, and organization of the environment is increasingly tied to digital means. Um, as ruins of a future, I see these works as an entry point to reconsider materials uh, and reconsider the extent to which we are digitally mediated.